We have two annual events a year. We have the Tribute Dinner, uh, which is a cross-border event in December, where we look at the past year and see the accomplishments that we've been able to do, give some awards out. And then we have this one in January, it's the Cross-Border Visions Lunch, and we talk about what we want to accomplish over the next year. So today we've got a professor from UCLA coming up to uh, literally talk about the impact of cross-border trade to the region, give us numbers, really give us a, a factual framework to work from. We've had a lot of successes. Uh, when we go to Mexico City, uh, we have great meetings there. Last year from the trip in Mexico City, uh, the Mexican Senate gave us funding for the Ped West. Uh, they also gave funding so that they could buy the land for uh, Otay too. So that was a tremendous success from a regional level so that we can keep moving uh, with the cross-border traffic. You know, I think what we'll be doing this year is uh, showing the administration a good example of how a cross-border relationship can work. Well, you know, I think the challenge for the mega region is, is just kind of allaying everybody's fears. Uh, and letting people know that we're going to continue to co conduct business as normal. Well, we've already uh, had conversations with people in uh, Customs and Border Patrol. The border's going to work the same way. Uh, we've got new border crossings coming online. We've got the Cross Border Express. Well, our, our vision is that uh, Mexico uh, and the U.S. even expand trade. Well, I, I think the biggest priority that in sending on Tijuana, we, we need to continue to work together. I'm really proud of the effort that Mayor Faulkner and former Mayor Jerry Sanders have embarked on this leadership effort with their colleagues in Mexico, with the governor of Baja and the new mayor of Tijuana, to really make sure that in San Diego, Tijuana, we're one region and we work together and we continue working together to focus on long border lines, improving economic development on both sides of the border, and for me in particular, really improving the border environment. Well, a, a lot's been accomplished. You know, it, it's really important to understand this is a, a for the entire U.S.-Mexico border region, San Diego, Tijuana is a, is a leader in working together on the border. We recognize that the more we can uh, promote cross-border trade, the more people from Mexico we have shopping and staying in Imperial Beach. We have a lot of folks from Tijuana that come over and, and go to the beach in Imperial Beach, so we want them to continue to come and spend money and enjoy our beautiful beach. Yeah, Mayor Gaspolum is completely committed to this cross-border uh, relationship. I attended his inauguration, as did Mayor Faulkner, and uh, that's something we can count on on the border. Regardless of what happens in Washington, we're here in San Diego, Tijuana, proudly committed to working together with our friends and family members on both sides of the border, and that's very important for our economy and our region. Yeah, I think people are concerned with the rhetoric that's coming out of Washington. Uh, my, my, my message now is to ignore the tweet storms. They're irrelevant and like a child's tantrums, and to really focus on what's specific policy proposals. And I know that in San Diego, Tijuana, we have specific policy proposals going to Washington and Mexico City, and that's to continue funding uh, increasing border crossings and having uh, a more efficient border and a less polluting border. That has to be key. Well, you know, um, San Diego, Tijuana is one region. Our residents embrace that. I don't see the divisions, at least in Imperial Beach and, and South San Diego, because we're across the border all the time. We know that we ignore what goes on uh, in Washington from a lot of politicians who want to create confusion and division, and that's not what we're about. And so I'm really proud of the fact that in San Diego, Tijuana, we're going to continue to promote working peacefully in friendship and harmony on both sides of the border to make sure that we improve the quality of life for the residents of both sides of the border.